Welcome to the Johnson Controls course on the WT4000 series, Pneumatic to Direct Digital Control Room Thermostat. Take a look at this scenario. We've got to find a way to lower our energy and maintenance costs, but I don't see how our budget will support any big HVAC upgrades. Any ideas? Review each response and think how each outcome might apply to your customers. Let's find out more about pneumatic systems and how Johnson Controls can help building owners, maintenance workers, and contractors get the most out of them without expensive upgrades. When you're ready to learn more, click to keep going. Here's what you'll learn in this course. In Section 1, you'll learn to explain the fundamentals of pneumatic thermostats. Next, you'll explore the advantages of switching to a lower maintenance HVAC solution. In Section 3, you'll discover the most important features and benefits of the Johnson Controls WT4000 Series Pneumatic to Direct Digital Control Thermostat. Finally, in Section 4, you'll learn the basics of installing the WT4000 Series, including keypad symbols, LCD capabilities, and wireless versus standalone mode. <laughs> In a pneumatic control system, compressed air is used as a means of controlling the HVAC system. The system is driven by the air compressor that typically provides air at 70 to 90 psi. From the compressor, the air flows through a series of devices that provide conditioning and protection for the pneumatic control system. These devices may include refrigerated air dryers, particle and oil removal air filters, and pressure reducing valves. Typically, the air pressure ranges from 15 psi to 20 psi by the time it reaches the controlling device. The air is carried through tubes from the controller, such as a thermostat, to a mechanical airflow control device, such as a valve actuator or damper actuator. This system relies on sensors and pneumatic thermostats, which use a bimetallic strip to detect changes in room temperature and control pressure of the compressed air. The thermostat uses this sensory input to send signals to open or close the damper actuator or valve actuator. This keeps a building's temperature at a given set point. With its T4000 series of pneumatic room thermostats, Johnson Controls put its stamp on the HVAC industry, offering adjustable sensitivities and set points, rugged construction, including vibration and shock resistance, and a decorative design that provided an attractive alternative to traditional thermostats. Pneumatic system components like the T4000 series are so common and familiar that many HVAC maintenance workers find them relatively easy to work with. And when well maintained, they can be as efficient as any other HVAC system. But many HVAC crews don't have the manpower to do the maintenance needed to keep pneumatic systems running efficiently. This is partly because pneumatic thermostats are mechanical and not electrical devices. So maintenance workers don't have a centralized way to read and set temperatures or diagnose problems. This can lead to the heating and cooling of empty rooms with no easy way to respond to changing HVAC demands. One option for overcoming these issues is to replace the pneumatic controls with a direct digital control, or DDC, system, which uses electrical power to help the thermostat control the valves and dampers, while improving energy efficiency, automation, and system diagnostics. A DDC upgrade is also big capital expenditure that's out of reach for many budgets. Plus, the invasive nature of a DDC installation is noisy and disruptive to building occupants and can dislodge toxic substances like lead paint and asbestos. 
but getting DDC features may not require a full upgrade. Instead of a DDC upgrade, why not extend the life of the existing pneumatic system? There is a way to do this. New technologies available for pneumatic systems include remote wireless setpoint control, continuous room temperature monitoring, battery status monitoring, and many more features that give pneumatic systems similar capabilities to DDC. In addition to energy and maintenance savings, retrofitting pneumatic controls with DDC controls gives tenants more control of their own comfort. This leads to higher tenant retention and lower vacancy rates. What if you could upgrade to DDC-like functionality without replacing the valves, doing complicated wiring runs, spending hours on installation, coming up with the entire building's upgrade budget at once, dealing with asbestos or lead paint during installation, or disrupting and relocating the building's occupants? <laughs> This type of upgrade is now possible thanks to the WT4000 series pneumatic to direct digital control room thermostats. The WT4000 enables DDC features with no valve replacement, no wiring, and a quick installation, especially for anyone who's installed Johnson Controls T4000 series thermostats. This uncomplicated installation typically takes less than 30 minutes. Unlike a DDC upgrade, you can upgrade with WT4000 thermostats by zone, so there's no need to do a whole building at once. Upgrade at the rate your budget allows. The non-invasive installation causes only a minimal disturbance. This is better from a health, safety, and liability perspective, and you won't have to disrupt or move building occupants. The WT4000 series provides reliable zone comfort and energy efficiency via local display and temperature set point with a cost-effective and non-invasive installation process. You'll now discover the features that make these and other benefits possible. Click each feature to learn more. This course won't cover all installation and operational instructions in detail. Installers can find that in the instructions that come with the unit, but there are a few noteworthy installation steps to cover here. Click each point to learn more. In the back panel, you'll find barbed fittings for the branch line and main line, battery holders, termination for the motion sensor input, and a terminal for optional wired 12 volt DC supply. 
To prevent damage to the WT4000 series thermostat that can occur when installers try to connect existing pneumatic lines to the back of the thermostat, extension pneumatic lines with barbed fittings are pre-installed to the unit. This enables quick, hassle-free installation. The WT4000 is battery powered, so no wiring is needed to obtain a power supply. Four 3.6 volt AA lithium batteries are included with the thermostat, and these typically have a four year battery life. Install them by fitting them into the battery compartment. The LCD is a small but versatile display. Use it to view operating modes, room temperature or requested set point, actual and requested branch line pressure, received signal strength, any error codes, fan output, heating or cooling output, battery voltage level, number of routes to the WT back IP gateway, and in wireless mode, connection status and signal strength. The keypad's buttons are marked with symbols for temperature up and down, shoulder standby mode, override, and display lighting. Most are intuitive, but familiarize yourself with these when configuring the thermostat. Each WT4000 series thermostat can be placed in either standalone or wireless mode. In standalone mode, the operator can set schedules locally at each thermostat. Each unit operates with an independent time clock and can be programmed with a weekday weekend occupancy schedule. Wireless mode works with the building's automation system to set, schedule, and control heating and cooling functions. The WT4000 utilizes wireless mesh technology to create a network for each WT4000 to communicate back to the BACnet IP router. This plug-and-play capability allows for easy setup and configuration of the wireless network. The wireless mesh consists of three components. WT4000 series thermostats control the room temperature and send their status to the WT back IP gateway. Each device has a signal range of up to 100 feet. The WT router extends the wireless signal from the thermostats to the WT back IP gateway. The WT back IP converts wireless data into a BACnet IP message for communicating information to building automation systems. Let's see how each component functions in the wireless mesh network. WT4000 series thermostats within 100 feet of the WT back IP gateway can send wireless data directly to it. WT routers can extend the range of thermostats located farther than 100 feet from the WT back IP gateway by offering an interim route of communication. The thermostats send data to the routers and the routers relay it to the WT back IP. These routers provide multiple routes of communication to the WT back IP gateway. With multiple paths available, data from each WT4000 thermostat can easily complete its path to the WT back IP. There, it gets translated into a BACnet IP message that enables integration with the Building Automation System, or BAS. Refer to the Resources section for installation information. All WT4000 series model numbers can be broken down into individual parts that identify its features. As shown here, the first part is the main model number. The second box indicates that it allows either wireless mesh or standalone modes. The third area tells whether the model displays in Fahrenheit or Celsius. And the last area indicates fan control dry contact relay output or motion sensor. We've covered four main subjects in this course. Pneumatics fundamentals. Advantages of switching to a lower maintenance HVAC solution and choosing a pneumatic to direct digital control upgrade like the WT4000 series. Key features and benefits of the WT4000 series. And some installation basics including keypad symbols, LCD capabilities, and wireless versus standalone modes. For a list of helpful links and printable job aids, visit the resources section of this course. You'll find useful materials such as the catalog, product bulletin, and installation instructions. Contact customer service if you have questions or need product support. Congratulations! You've completed the WT4000 Series Pneumatic to DDC Thermostat Training. When you're ready to test your knowledge, close this window and launch the quiz.